Friday, our favourite day of the week because our Facebook is full of fun prize giveaways. And today, um, you or I will be your hostess with the mostess. Um, but with me, doing some fantastic demos. I'm going to say it before she's done them because they're always amazing. It's Sheila Halliwell. Hello, everyone. And that's what it's I'm very excited about today's show. Are you? Well, I think every, every one of them are excited now in, in their own different way, but today is um, packed full of loveliness, isn't it? Yes, there is some fantastic giveaways. So, um, today starts our new brand takeover. Um, the studio is going to be taken over. We've got some award winning brands here at Hunky Dory, but this time it is the Little Books, which I know everyone loves, they are absolutely fantastic. They come in so many different sort of varieties and different themes. Um, but before we get into that, we've got a few reminders. First, did you enter our winning weekly competition? You have 30 minutes left to enter. Um, and the winner's gonna be announced in towards the end of the show. It's a fantastic prize. It is the Personally Yours script alphabet dies. There's only four winners here, which is re really exciting. Um, the question this week, if you haven't seen it yet, you need to like, share and comment on the video with who is the current box making champion? Is it A, Dan, B, Super Saver Man, or C, Sheila? I'm not gonna give you any clues because I think we've given enough clues this week. Um, but is it A, Dan, B, Super Saver Man, or C, Sheila? And four lucky people will be winning this die set today, um, which is, it's a fabulous die set. Um, it's one of our favorites for sure. Great for making plaques, personalizing anything, um, which you know, we just love to do here. So that is our Win It Weekly competition. We also have our pick of the week this week, which was this fantastic um, piece on Earth collection. So you've got the four, the four die sets and the paper pad. Um, these are very, very limited stock. Emily told me that there's only two, two left in the whole warehouse. So if you want this bundle, 
you best get it today. Um, this is our Peace on Earth Moonstone die collection worth $49.95 and there's so many lovely things you're going to be able to make with these especially for Christmas time for all different religious occasions maybe um, Easter what are the what are the christenings, um, Christmas, weddings, confirmations, 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 even sympathy I guess sympathy cards well. yeah because you've got those that beautiful sort of angel um, image so that is the pick of the week like I said there's only two left in stock so if you want it You've got to go get it right <laughs> now. Um, so let's have a look what is coming up on today's show. So on our brand takeover today, we have the Little Books takeover. We've got some, some not so little <coughs> demos with Sheila. We have our Win It Weekly winners that we're going to announce. And then to finish off the show, everyone's favorite thing about Friday, we are going to spin the wheel. Yay! very very excited about that so today's show is all about our little books brand takeover there are so many different little books we have in the office let's have a look at what we've got so these are all the little books that we have available in the warehouse for you to buy today and on our brand takeover offer it's the best time to sort of test out new products if you've never bought little books before um, to have a look and see what what you can do with them because we've got some fantastic multi-buy offers and bundle deals to be had with these today and i i think sheila little books are an essential item to have in your sort of craft if you craft room you craft area because they're really quick to use to make simple cards with there's so much you can do with them yeah definitely um i mean they're just packed full of images aren't they you could sit and fussy cut from these for I was and I was on end um, um, because there's such a huge variety and a multitude of themes for all occasions. Even if you, um, I think, I think one really good thing about them, in particular, which we don't always mention, is that because there's no usually no greetings on them. This means that you can use them in all different aspects of crafting. So you can cut into them. You can make um, plaques, wall decorations, home decor. Um, you know, some of the ones I'm going to use today uh, would not be lost in frames no. in a bathroom. No. Um, you know what I mean? So I think that's the good thing. That they're almost like little um, little encyclopedias, but without the words almost. That's very true, so. yeah, like little craft encyclopedias. Yeah. For any, any occasion that you can think that you have, there's a little book for that occasion. And not just occasions. You know, people have, people have really weird hobbies. People yeah. have really strange sort of things that they're really into and our little books all have sort of specific things in them um, that you might not find in craft kits um, but you do find them in the little books yeah. and they're just great for for that for for a, all age ranges all yeah, occasions there's definitely. a little book for sure um, so let's have a look at one of them we're going to flick through our midnight butterflies so the little books on our brand takeover deal this week are buy one get one free so you can get two little books for $9.99 and they're just fantastic. So we have two different sizes of little books. We've got this one, which is our A6 size. And then we do our square little books, which I can just bring in and show you. This one is, is it five by five or just under? Yeah, like just under, isn't it? it? Yeah, it is just under. I think um, it's just but under. It's great for um, all different occasions. And the best thing about our little books is that we have those fantastic um, mirror mats that fit perfectly with the images um, and we'll show you them just a little bit later on but let's have a look at this first um, little book so like we said there's so much imagery in here um, you do get some that have words with them you get some that don't so you can fussy cut these um, you get some with sort of big images smaller images um, you get different sort of angles on your little book so you've got some that are landscape some that are portrait and um, there's some great fussy cut in especially with that one you'd be able to fussy cut that up loads we've got some that have some really nice sentiments on like this one um but my eyes have gone really funny and i just can't read that screen uh, so we're going to pick it up it says okay. um when no one else notices you've you've fallen true friends are the ones that lift you up 
um, which is really nice. It is, it's lovely that. I think um, when we first launched this, I think we made like a wall hanging with it. So we actually did that one as the middle one and then some uh, just with images on above and below, just hung it with ribbon. Ooh. And again, it's something you can hang up. It's, it's almost like more home decor than anything, isn't it? It's a beautiful yeah. collection, this one. This one is a really, really lovely one. The good things take time. This is quite nice as well for, for steampunk, isn't it? We have a lot of people who love steampunk and the kind of clockwork effects and yeah. that oldie worldy style. So this is really good for that as well. So this is one of those little books you could be getting on your two for ten. The next one is our all occasions one. So let's have a look at this one. I think this one launched quite recently, actually. Yeah. Uh, but this one's great because it has imagery, imagery throughout for, like it says, all occasions. So this is going to be one of those books that you have at home and if you have a birthday for anyone coming up and you've forgotten um, you're going to be able to find an image that fits perfectly in here we've got some um, sort of younger imagery we've got some really nice artwork um, like this one here which has got the house on it i'll get it the right way shortly <laughs> It's difficult being it, over this side, Shields. It is, it is difficult. That's the most difficult thing about showing things on camera. It's you think, I'll turn it to the right, and it's always upside down, so I do it all the time. Some for <laughs> teenagers, some for younger girls, some for the older lady, for your granddads, for the new babies. Aww. That one is just the cutest image. Some for friends, and they're not all sort of birthday ones. These could be thank you cards. Yeah, I mean, These even could that be one would be great Day cards. Teacher, wouldn't it, with the tortoise? With the tortoise, yeah. yeah. There's so many different things that you have in this one. We're just going to flick through one more just to show you how much variety you get in these little books because they are so jam packed with some fantastic artwork that you are going to have um, to be able to use for so many different occasions. This is one of my um, favourite collections for the artwork inside it. Beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. So these are the, this is the perfect planet little book and they have, it's just filled with artwork. It's so vibrant, it's so pretty. It's like watching um, David Attenborough. Yes. Just flicking through these pages. Um, the colourways in here are so fantastic. That's look at that image, isn't it beautiful? It's absolutely stunning. If you've you know you've recently had a, a baby and you wanted to send a a card to them and you wanted to say congratulations on your new family, you can use these images here, especially if the people you're sending it to are lovers of some of the fantastic animals that you see in here. Um, it's just amazing. It has that fantastic fox with the galaxy background. So it's it's a lovely collection, and I think it's really um, it's really important this one. Um, you know, environmentally, I think it's you know when when I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness, look how amazing that is. It's, so it's just good. even if you just sit and look through this, it's quite it nice. I think it's really good for the nice soul. Thing to do, it makes you feel very warm inside. You've got the fantastic owl. Couldn't you make though, if you're crafty with children, couldn't you make like a really nice story, story book with yeah. this? You know, say let's take some pages out and let's write, or let's write about the write something about the owl, and then um, you know, and it's so it can be an educational thing, can't it? A learning thing. If you've got a trip to the zoo coming up, you can yeah. make sort of like a, a flip book. So yeah. when you spot that animal, you can take it off. There is that fantastic. I love this one. That's Look beautiful. at the rays of the sun coming through the water. It's absolutely stunning. So that is our perfect planet little book. These little books are amazing. I've just shown three here. Um, but we have, like we showed you in that pack shot. Can we show the pack shot again, Emily? Of course. Look how many there is to choose from here. There's so many good occasions here as well. You've got um, Christmas greetings in there. You've got Dad Logic, which has got those fantastic quotes um, from your funny funny fathers, you've got poppies, you've got Christmas, you've got um, cakes and bakes I think, you've got artist garden, um, you've got the snow adorable, lilac moments, there's just so many different themes and occasions running through our little books and that's why they're such a good thing 
um, to maybe start you into crafting or if you're wanting, if you've never had little books before and you've just bought the paper craft collections, maybe now, this week, when they're on our brand takeover, they're on a fantastic offer. Maybe now is the time for you to get some and see what you could be making with them. Um, so to show you what you could be doing with your little books when you get them at home, let's go over to the demonstration station um, with Sheila and we'll see what she's going to get up to. Hello. Well, we had um, a choice last night. Emily the, uh, uh, set up all the room and everything and came through and said, we're going to do two demos tomorrow, uh, Sheila, which would you like to demo from? Um, and we've got actually got 29 little books on the display here. Um, as you can imagine, that's a really difficult choice because lots, you see something in everyone. Some of them were open, some of them were shrink wrapped. Um, so the ones that I would probably have liked to have done were the shrink wrapped ones. I was like, we don't want to open these because, you know, it gets to the point sometimes where we get down to like one or two. And if we've opened it, a customer could have had that one. It could have been sent out today. So we didn't open any that weren't already um, out of a bag. Um, so we chose to do um, the last one that Natalie has just shown to you, which is absolutely beautiful, Perfect Planet. Um, so when I looked through it this morning, thought, okay, let's do something um, a little bit crazy. Um, so I've taken, I looked at my um, lovely images, I've chosen two of the underwater scenes and I've also chosen that beautiful turtle, funnily enough, um, which is just delightful. Um, I used to have, a long time ago, before I got married, I had um, some terrapins. I always had terrapins in a, in a tank at home and what I used to, to love about them was the fact they were tiny and how they used to love being in the water. But then when I got up in the morning, they climbed out the water and they'd be sat on the rocks. And even though they were tiny, they are just an absolute delight to have. So I thought, right, OK, I'm going to go with the lovely turtle. Um, so what I've done, I've chosen some of our lovely, like, bright green, adorable, scorable cardstock. And I'm going to make a, a landscape card. So I'm going to score it down the middle. I'm on my inchy side of the scoreboard. So if I score at four and a quarter, and then we can just fold that in half and it's just gonna be a long um, card. I like doing long cards for a change Do you sometimes. like doing long cards, Sheila? Yeah, um, so we've now got our long landscape card. Now, obviously, I have got two of the backgrounds here. Now, there are, because I've scored my card, these are a little bit too big. Um, and too long so I'm going to trim them down but what I want to do as well is show you and also use some of our silver mirror mats now if you've never seen mirror mats or use them these are you have to have these don't you Natalie have to they have Absolutely. to be an essential that you add in um, with your little book order today definitely I think because for a couple of reasons one is um, a lot of us don't have a great eye for getting things accurate and straight when we're cutting and very often you will waste a lot of your mirror card if you start cutting from A4 sheets or you've only got eight by eight mirror mats then sometimes it's difficult you end up with a lot of waste so these are perfect if you want to just mat and layer these basically that means you put this page onto your mat look at the edge it's already done for you no cutting no trimming straight into a card bit of ribbon sentiment few gems you've got yourself a basic card if you're new to crafting um, so what i'm going to do today because i want to create almost like an elongated scene i'm going to trim these mirror mats down now trimming them down to fit on here um, is going to be pretty easy because we're, we're not going to have a lot of waste like you would um, if you are using 8x8. So what I'm going to do, I want to create as well a little green border. We only need a tiny green border, so I'm going to just grab my pencil and I'm going to just mark it off there. And then we can just do the same with the other one. So what I'll do, so that we get our join in the middle, I'm going to cut those two down at the same time. So let me just grab my little guillotine here. Lots of people are joining us this morning, so hello! If you are Hi. joining along with us, um, lots of people are getting that answer in to win the die set that we're giving away in our <laughs> Win It Weekly competition. Uh, lots of people have guessed, a lot of people have 
to put it in capital letters, Sheila. I feel like that's not very fair, is it? Well, you know, we've had discussions about this a plenty, haven't we? So we let's have. just we're let's not, just leave not. it. <laughs> well, thank let's just you leave if it you for now. There's so many people. Um, Michelle says the mirror mats that match the little books are fantastic. They are. Um, it's such a good idea. It is a really, really good idea. Um, Gemma says she couldn't resist the offer this morning. Um, I definitely don't think that anyone can resist an offer like this. Um, buy one, get one free on the fantastic little books. Um, Liz has commented to say, has Anne-Marie had her baby yet? Um, Anne-Marie <laughs> Anne -Marie has posted this. I don't know whether she's posted it on um, her page yet, but she did have yeah. um, a beautiful little girl this Wednesday um, so she might not be watching she might be she might be watching with um, Joseph and little Sophie um, so if you are Anne-Marie we miss you um, and we hope that you're having yeah, yeah congratulations and we hope that you're having a fantastic time getting to know your little sassy girl which I've heard she is she's already a little bit of a sass queen is she really? Yeah. Well, we've um, we've seen pictures of her, haven't we? We have. Um, she is beautiful. And she is stunning. She's perfect. She's got lots of hair, hasn't she? And she was um, she was quite a little bit of a crumper, wasn't she? She she was a very a very large baby, yes. Um, but she is just the cutest thing. She's beautiful, yeah. And I saw the pictures of Mark holding her, and you know when you see um, babies and you think you know because she was. Um, well, she was over nine pounds, wasn't she? Yeah. So she was good. Nine yeah, nine pound fourteen. So she was a good, good, healthy weight. But even when um, we saw the picture of her in Mark's arms, she still looks like a tiny little dot. So very, very beautiful. Um, and we're all thrilled because she's are. got a girl. So now she's got one of each, which is lovely. super excited to be buying lots of fantastic outfits. Yeah, we can't wait to get. And I'm going to try and knit some um, cute things. So. It's Hopefully. Very, very cute. Yeah, it's going to be all lovely. So are you going to join those together? So I'm going to join together? these together. Now, obviously, you probably think, well, it doesn't quite match up. That doesn't matter because my big turtle is going to go into the middle. I'm going That's to cut idea, the turtle yeah. out. So I'm just going to see which matches best. And I quite like. I think that. Do you that think way. that? Yeah. I think that too. So what we're going to do is I'm going to trim this time because those match up fairly okay in the middle i'm going to trim a little bit off this end and a little bit off the that end as well so that we can join them together and then i'm going to trim obviously some off the length so then once we've started to um narrow it down a little bit where's my pencil mark i think it's there. i do love the fact that you can do this with your little books you know because you do have some really striking large images but definitely in a lot of little books you have sort of um, bigger background pages yeah. or bigger images like Sheila's using here, which means you can mix and match your pages. You can um, mix them up. And in our most sort of more recent collections that we've done, we have, um, we have added a lot more sort of of these background pages, which allow you to build up your scenes and yeah. create different images with them, which is just a really nice thing to do. It's, it's nice to coordinate them. Someone said um, in the comments that she uses them for scrapbooking, which I think is a really nice idea. Yeah. Do you know, when you actually showed this one, um, I thought that's a really, really nice idea because if you've been anywhere like, you know, to any of the SeaWorld places or like Florida or anywhere like that, um, these are going to be perfect, you know, to go with your photographs. Really, really, um, you know, going to make your photographs pop, I think. Um, it's quite exciting to do scrapbooking and journaling and things. Um, I, I just love doing that. Ellie Ash okay. has commented, Sheila, and she yeah. says, do you prefer the guillotine or the trimmer? Um, I am totally a guillotine person. I always have been, I probably always will be. But saying that, I do use my trimmer an awful lot. Um, I, it is down here next to me, but I was thinking I would need to use it, but I don't. I can just... Um, use my little guillotine today with the little boot pages but yeah I am definitely a guillotine person I think that's probably because when um, I first started crafting uh, well not crafting I mean I've always crafted but when I was old enough to use a guillotine my mum had a very old guillotine that was my 
dads that he had at school um, and it's a really old chunky thing um, and it's honestly it's so old now and it's joined together with like screws um, that when you pull it down to cut you have to pull it like to the to the left so that it cuts so it evenly it. because it's so old and worn um, but yeah I, I, and then when I started crafting and doing card making and obviously being a demonstrator I got a proper guillotine so yeah i do love a guillotine um but i do love our trimmer as well i really do um of all the trimmers that i've had over time um i definitely love ours because it's really really quite um i don't know it's just i just love it it's just good i just really really enjoy using it it's very i i think i'm a i'm a trimmer i like the trimmer do I'm you not sure why but yeah i think i prefer the trimmer to the guillotine but everyone has their personal preferences. People have commented which ones they prefer. Tracy says she prefers a guillotine. I know lots of people who um, like to use a trimmer. So it is really down to personal preference. But I do think that they have their um, different qualities for sure. I mean, the guillotine is yeah. such a good size. So, it, so is the trimmer really. Um, but the guillotine is a really great size for if you're sort of traveling on the go. You can yes. take your mini scoreboard with you. Definitely. Um, get everything out and ready to go. Definitely. I think, um, I mean, because the our guillotine is small and compact, when we are cutting bigger pieces and cutting A4, we obviously need to use the trimmer. If we had a bigger guillotine, um, which would be just my dream, um, then, then I would probably use that as well. But I have to use the trimmer anyway, because we've got that just bigger sheets. Yeah. Um, you know, and I like the fact that we've got the, um, like, external arm that pops out to give you that extended panel on there so if you are cutting things like 12 by 12 or even a3 you can kind of use it for that um I, I really do love that effect this is looking so good it's so three-dimensional doesn't it look three-dimensional that so good it looks like you are looking through um a little aquarium window actually it does actually and i think that is because we have put um We've not cut right on the line. We've left that little bit of blue behind. It really so makes him pop. It does, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut out his um, little like fin here. And then I'm also going to go around the chest bit so that his head pops out too. So we've got his head and his fin that will just sit out a little bit proud of the rest of his body and hopefully that will just give it a little bit more dimension as well um, but again it's it's something really fun to do um, you know and it can be kept simple um, you can make it like a a fish tank if you wanted to you could do like a three-dimensional yeah definitely so let's get this on now with some little um, lots of people cats. are commenting with what they love about our little books Ooh, um, so let us know, get your comments in. What do you love about um, the Hunky Dory Little Book Collection? Um, someone commented, let me see it, because I think it's just scrolled past. I had it saved. Someone said that they like to make wallets, like money wallets with the little books, which I think ah, is a really good that's idea. That's a nice idea, isn't it? Especially because you have so, so many different occasions in them that you can obviously use to make them with. Yeah, and I guess as well, you know, think about that. And um, whoever suggested that, that's a really nice idea. You know, but something e like really simple, if you want to make money wallets and you've never done it before, then you could um, actually just stick a little boot page on the front of an envelope, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. And give a, give a voucher yeah. away in that. So, you know, it really, really, um, you've got so many options, I think, with them. Whether you cut into them, matelé them, use your nesting dies to create like pyramage and invitage. You can do all those techniques and it's really, really quite, uh, gives you quite a lot of versatility. Um, we love them. I love it when they say, we've got a big kit coming out and there'll be toppers, there'll be cardstock, there'll be foil cardstock, there'll be parchment or there'll be inserts. And also we're going to do a little book as well. And you go, oh my goodness, that just makes that kit bulk up so much more um, for everybody who, who crafts with it. It's just like giving you almost like a second or third kit with it. And for those people who make cards for sort of charities or for um, a different things like that the little bit page is a great because 
like Sheila showed you before, if you just use every single page you have in your little book, you get some of our fantastic mirror mats. Um, you can lay them up, put them onto your A6 card, and you instantly have a card ready to go. So if you make cards for charity, you're going to be able to give these away. Um, they're going to be so quick and easy to make. Yeah. Um, and they're going to help you to raise loads and loads of money for your chosen charity. And this is a little book which is perfect for that because oh my goodness, it's got yeah. so many different sort of images of animals yeah. um, inside it. So you're going to be able to make loads for those different types of um, charities that everyone um, has in their hearts. Definitely. I think it's um, this is a really good one if you do things like the World Wildlife Fund, things like that. And there's, there's actually birds and things in here as well, aren't there? So it doesn't have to just necessarily be, you know, animals that you see out in the in the, the desert or in the jungle, it can be a whole host of different animals, different char charities. It's, um, I just I just love them. Okay, so what we've done, we've taken out of our little um, essential book of sentiments, um, I think this was last year's actually, and I've just grabbed it, and a, a lovely little um, topper that says on it, to the world's best brother. And I thought, well, you could send this to your your brother, your nephew, your cousin. What I am going to do is just trim that down a little bit and then I'm going to put some of our gems on. So this will go here. Um, so again, it's a little bit, it's almost a little bit wacky really. But I quite like, you could give it to someone who's a fisherman, somebody who loves swimming, you know, somebody who just loves animals. Um, let's pop that. Um, I'm going to put it, I think I'm going to put it, if I can. I wanted to put it under his oh, like he's holding fin. It. So it looks like he's holding it a little bit. And then what we'll do, we'll pop a few of our, uh, let's have a look if we've got some of our, oh, we have our Aurora Borealis. Uh, where is my, there it is, pocket tool. I knew it was on here somewhere. Because these kind of look like bubbles. That's very true. Under the water. They kind of pick up the colors as well. So we can always do some coming out of the fish's mouths. Let's do one over here. Do a little one here. So we've got a couple closer together. Um, so it just reflects the light and it makes it look a bit more undersea adventure-like. Zara yeah. says, I still struggle with using my little books because I don't just like to pop them in a card. Um, but you don't have to. Um, you can if you want to, if you want to make a large bulk of cards, that is a perfect thing you can use these yeah. mats, uh, these books for. However, you get six of every single page in these little books, which gives you so much room to do some um, decoupage, some pyramage, um, to make different um, scenes with them, to add pieces together like Sheila's done on this card. Um, the possibilities really are endless with these little books. Yeah, definitely. Um, you just need to think of, think, you have to think quite outside the box, I feel, when you're using them. Yeah, I do too. I think you don't have to be, I mean, like we've done here, look through them and see if there's um, a piece that you can, you know, make like it double in length or there are to, I think there's another one actually, another underwater scene in this uh, pad as well. Why not try them, if you don't want to do a long card, why not do them so that they are above each other? Um, and you could still put the turtle head in the middle there. But again, it's a little bit crazy. But it's also fun as well. I mean, a, a I child like would like that. It's very um, cool. Let's get it right. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that perfect fit. But again, it's quite, it's just simple and it's a bit of fun, really. But um, I think that turtle does pop out quite well, it's doesn't very, it? It's very, very, very <laughs> cute indeed. I love it. And the colours um, and the adorable scrubble that you've used there just match wonderfully. Yeah. Um, so let's have a look at um, another deal that we have on um, offer today. So not only do we have our little books on offer, but we have our Miri mats that coordinate with these um, on a special megabyte too. So if you get t any two of these, um, you're going to get them for £15. So I've just picked out um, three here that I've got. Let's pull them all out here. So we do our Miri mats in the fantastic silver, the gold and the amazing rainbow that everyone loves. Um, and these are two for £15. So if you're going to get your Miri mats, um, you, if you're going to get your litter books, then you definitely should get your mirror mats as well. That's going to save you £8.98. Wow. So it's 
like buying another pack, but these are just fantastic. Like Sheila said, um, they are the perfect size to go with your little book. So all you have to do is just pop out your image, stick it on top, and it doesn't, it leaves that sort of struggle of trying to get your mats to fit perfectly um, when you cut them down yourself because it just, it takes all that stress away. You know that yeah. if you've only got five minutes to throw something together that you can just get a mirror mat. You can get one of your pages and you can stick them all together. Now, not only do we have our A6 little books, we also have a fantastic range of square little books. So let's have a look at this one. This is one of our most recent um, new launched little books. This one is the cutest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> this is our Snow Adorable. And I think that this is great for making Christmas cards for younger children. Um, this one has a great selection of sentiments in it as well that are on those pages so you can cut them out and you can put them onto your um, books. We've got some, um, a different style there with different colorways. Then we have some element sheets. So you've got different elements here if you want to do what Sheila's just done and build up some scenes. And you've got them in a different style there. Then in this little book, what I really like about it is that you've got a selection of um, background pages. So you've got this one here with the beautiful snow scene. You've got this one that has the fantastic snow globe, which you can put those elements that we showed you just earlier inside here and build up your little snow globe. We've got this beautiful scene with the lovely um, lampposts. And this is great because you don't have to use the whole sheet, but you could put two together um, and take, oh, cut this down slightly. And then you, you've got that room to extend mm. your scenes to create bigger cards. Um, but just matting and layering these up with your mirror mats, with some matching, maybe adorable, scorable, or um, matastic cardstock that you have is really going to make these look fantastic. And there's some, once we've got past our backgrounds, there's some fantastic larger images in here. You've got the teddy in his hot chocolate, some on the wreaths. Aren't these nice for like baby's first Christmas as well? And like, yeah. you might have, um, I was looking through it before seeing, you know, you might have got twins, um, you know, and you might want to send a, like a twin card or uh, for Christmas. And there Ooh. are some, like that one, there are some really, really lovely images in for that. There is a really, I love the color theme in here yeah. as well with that really striking green, um, but then the beautiful blues and pinks. This one is perfect, like you said, Sheila, for the new baby cards. Yeah. Stuck in the stocking. It's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Um, you've got the images there. So you can see how you could use those elements that you get in the sheets and that snow globe background to create your images. Because you could, if you wanted to, just copy the layout from these other designs. Um, but there's so much just to love about the artwork in all of the little books. There's so... I wish we could stand here and flick through every single one that we've got because there is just so many of them. Um, but this is a fantastic one and great for those cards for Christmas. Um, Sheila, you're going to make a card with this one, aren't you, again? I am indeed. Very excited. I am indeed. Um, so let's pop back over to Sheila and see what she has to do. Okay, so I've just... Um, I went through the pad. This is such a lovely pad. And I... Took out two of the images. I got this one, which is the one with the um, look at that woolly jumper. I just love so that jumper. Cute. And then I also chose the one that has the wreath on it. I've already done a bit of um, chopping here because I wanted to make like that a looks little. So fabulous! Isn't it sweet? Yeah, it's so lovely. And what I've done is I've just punched out my circle punch. Um, you can use your die as well. One of those little greetings, and it's a tight. It's like a miniature version of this wreath and I've stuck that on the background so because I've got a bit of cutting to do so I wanted to just show you what I've done with that so we've cut the middle out of one and then obviously we've put the greeting on the other and we're going to put some snowfall lastate on there as well so then I chose also I was thinking I went straight to the craft room looking at the images and thought pinks but when I went in there they were this color was really quite far away from pink so I've gone from the more kind of peachy orange terracotta colour. It's not really, it's a light paler terracotta really. Um, but that seemed to pull the colours together a bit more. So I've got a seven by seven card. And obviously because these are printed on matte, uh, finish this this little book, um, I've chosen to use some of our adorable scrubble, matastic. 
Um, so we're going to do a couple of layers. And I really like the colours in this because I think orange and grey and probably brown as well are our kind of least, I've noticed over the years, that they are the least kind of used colours in card making. You know, we tend to go so. with, um, with golds and silvers, obviously. And then we tend to also use like lots of pinks and purples and then blacks, silvers and uh, whites, and lots of monochrome, brighter colours. But I really, really love orange um, and, and pink and grey together. So that's why I've gone with the grey. Now, what would be nice as well is if you've got a nice snowy embossing folder or a dotty folder to put oh, that, that through. That would look so lovely. And then, and then rub it back and you'll get the white popping through because the core of the Mattastic card is white, so you would get that effect as well. What I've done, gone through the little book, and as Natalie just showed you, there are some um, paper um, sheets in there as well. So I've basically torn it out, cut it in half, and I'm going to just do a couple of layers of these. Now, because we've got Mattastic, it's, I think, scuffing up the edges just a tiny bit. I'm not going mad so it all gets torn. Um, I'm just scuffing up the edges a little bit and I think that works with the um, grey and the white that's running through the card. I agree. I think it's such a fun um, thing to be able to, to do something like that. Oh yeah, I love just scuffing up papers. It's one of my most favourite things. I think it adds texture as well, doesn't it? It yeah. makes the card a bit more interesting. Definitely. And um, then laying them flat. Yeah, it gives... I bet there's some people out there that have really bad OCD though and hate to do oh that. Oh my goodness, yeah, I did it on a demo once, once and this man was sat at the demo with his wife and he went, whoa, 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 what are you doing? And I was like, <laughs> I'm scuffing up the paper and he's like, you can't do that. I said, yeah, of course I can. This is what, look at the effect. I said, don't panic. When I've done, it'll be fine. And he was like, oh, I don't know about this love. And I was like, it'll be fine, honestly. It'll be fine, trust me. Um, so we're going to pop those down in a minute. What I want to do now is put some of our fabulous um, Snowfall Acetate um, onto the back of here. So we're going to create like a little shaker window, but it's not going to have uh, the bear inside. The bear is going to sit at the front. Um, so let's just stick this in place. So a piece of Snowfall Acetate. Now it's up to you whether you have the uh, more textured panel at the front. I like to have the texture at the front. I like to be able to feel those little um, snowflakes that are on there. And immediately that just adds... Oh, it looks oh, so isn't good it? So, uh, That's just so wintry, it isn't it? It looks so good. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to pop um, some foam pads on here and then I'm going to add a little bit of white glitter. So oh. we'll go with, I think... Let's grab some of our. Um, so you're kind strips. of making a shaker card, or you are making a shaker. Well, I am making a yeah, a little shaker window, but it's that's not going to be like the feature. That's going to probably be uh, more in the background because we're going to have the little bear sitting at the front in oh, his. That's such a good idea. Sweater. Um, we'll keep those little pads. So we're just going to do one layer of the pads because I'm going to use some of our lovely fine white glitter in the window so it doesn't need to have like loads in there you can just use a little bit um, so let's just make sure it seals all the way that is important if you're using something bigger it doesn't matter you don't necessarily have to have it sealed really tightly but for something um, where you have got fine glitter like we're going to use now then you need to have all these foam pads sealed otherwise when you pick it up and shake it you will notice oh, you're leaving a, a trail everywhere and it does that does happen very often from time to time for me when I'm rushing um so what we're going to do we're going to take some of our lovely um white glitters now our four white glitters in our essentials kit have got different kind of colors in them so some just uh, have got like a bit of pink some have got a bit of green some have got purple, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a mix. I'm not going to do tons in there. It's really nice though, isn't it? Because depending on what type of um, artwork you're using, those different colours really do make a difference. Oh, definitely, definitely. And you know what you could do with this as well? Because we have got, um, let's use a little bit of this one too. Um, because you've got some um, grey in the card, you could, if you like, well, should we do that? Should we put a tiny bit of silver in? Ooh, should we let's be jazz it rebellious, up. do you reckon? Let's jazz just it up. Just put a tiny bit so it will mix in with that white. So we just do, um, you know what's going to happen? It's like that. a science class here. It is, isn't it? 
It's not going to go bang or anything like that. Just add a bit of that. I'm not adding any more than that. I just want a tiny, tiny bit because when we shake it, it will then mix up. So now what we can do um, is peel off these and then we can match up our little wreath. So let me make sure I've got this it. This is very, matched. very funny, Sheila. Teresa has commented to say that she's made an Excel spreadsheet of all the little books to keep track of which ones her and her mum both have. <laughs> mm. That's fabulous. I love that. <laughs> That's I think brilliant. we need. I think we need an Excel spreadsheet. C yeah, definitely. That's a really good idea. Very, very it's funny. a really good idea. Okay, so here's what we've got there now. So let's stick our paper down. So we can just pop this flat onto the card. Again, it's not going to be like absolutely, absolutely flat because we've got those scuffed edges. So if we put it to the top there, it's still going to show under our window. Now we've got two choices here. We can either go with that one there and this one at the bottom and then we put our little window here and our little bear here or we can actually go up with this or we could go there so you can change it round i'm going to keep it at the bottom because i want my little bear to be kind of sitting on the um on the snowy bit and then we can just do an extra little bit of um layering onto the bear so let's pop our window there like that. So I'm going to glue that straight on now. Um, just oh. to let everybody know, our Win It Weekly competition has now closed. So if you got your, uh, if you had the chance to enter over the week, congratulations. We will be announcing our four winners very, very shortly after Sheila's um, fantastic demo. Ooh, this is very, very exciting. exciting, isn't it? Exciting. We, we love, we love doing like winners of things, we do. don't we? We just, we love we just giving love. stuff away. We do crazy it's crazy one of our new um ladies from our marketing team who started working for us i think on the first about the first week of lockdown she was due to come into the office and of course we went into lockdown so um basically uh, jennifer is her name and she has basically become one of the team um, from home she's kind oh, yes. of been trained by our lovely marketing team uh, and by Kelly they've helped her out with the computer side of things and everything got her going and she came in a couple of weeks ago didn't she we met her for the first time um, and so she was saying that she did a little bit of crafting she did crochet and she was getting into paper crafting and everything so we just gave her um, she took some bits with her didn't honestly, she honestly she Some could boxes. She, boxes. <laughs> she could hardly contain herself. She couldn't walk to the car. She was so excited. Uh, and she was shoving stuff out of the way in the boots so we could help her get the boxes in. So I'd love to see if she's actually had the chance to make anything. I'm sure she probably has, doesn't I'm she? I'm sure she has. Um, but yeah, that it was really it was really lovely to see her face light up because we kept saying, Well take that and she's like, Oh, oh no, are you sure? Well like, take it. Yeah, it's it's gonna be good for you to use. It's gonna help you craft in. It's going to be great for your product knowledge as well, obviously. Um, so, yeah, it'd be interesting to see um, what, what she has done with it and if she's kind of enjoyed using it. She said, I don't know where I'm going to put it. My partner is going to say, where's all that going to go? So I'm sure you'll find just, somewhere. Just hide it in a drawer, Jan. Yeah. Worst comes to worst, I just leave a lot of mine in the car. Because then if I'm, you know, I know I've always got it. Even if I'm just out on a shopping spree, if I feel like I need to craft, I just go sit in the car on the <laughs> supermarket car park and do a bit of crafting. Oh, you know. Sheila. Do you want Sheila, Sheila, Sheila. You know, well, you know what? It's, it's useful to have because um, once when I was driving down to Peterborough to create craft, there was a massive, massive accident on the A1 and they closed it. And it was closed for like at least an hour. Nobody could move. Nobody could get off. We couldn't do anything. So everyone's engines were off. People were just out of the cars, you know, and um, having, a, having a drink of pop, having a, having a cigarette, whatever. And I was like, well, I'm going to sit and do some decoupage. So I did. I sat and did some decoupage um, <laughs> while I waited for the road to open. I don't think I know anyone else in life that would do that. Oh, come on. <laughs> you must. You no, must. Do. No, the only person crazy enough to do something like that has to be you. <laughs> Wait. Listen, you might as well. Um, if I'd have had my knitting, don't worry, I'd have put my seat back and done some knitting, but I didn't have my knitting with me, so unfortunately I had to do um but I was crafting and I'm happy and crafting, so I could I could probably craft in that situation where you're stuck, but I can't I can't I'm not good at like reading or doing something in the car when people when it's moving. 
I'm not good at that at Oh all. gosh, no, no, because that's not good for your travel sickness, is it? No. Um, it's not, it's not good at all that. But yeah, um, we, we there's nothing else could do, you know, and, and if like me, you've got itchy fingers and you just like to be doing stuff all the time, then I just felt, well, might as well just sit and do some decoupage. So um, that's what I did. Shells Whitehead said, Sheila, how do you get your card ideas? Uh, I do not know. <laughs> That somewhere in the in my in the in my brain I have like a almost filing like cabinet. um like a what filing cabinet yeah I do like I do have like it's not a filing cabinet it would be it's, it's like a shelving unit so okay. I have and I can see it I can see it right now with things on the a bit like when you go to you know IKEA or somewhere and you get yourself some furniture and then you bring it in like we do here like we did with this lovely room we transformed it all and so I have that in the back of my head. I think like just behind my brain it feels um so yeah so i store th things on there or sometimes i'll just open my brain up go to the shelf and, and like get the idea off the shelf am i a bit weird um, <laughs> and i'm not sure about that one what other people, <laughs> what other people decide <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now we've got our little decoupaged pair sitting on the snow with the glitchy shaker window. We have to finish this off with some of our fabulous pearls. Definitely. Um, because these are, oh my goodness, these make my, sometimes they make my legs go to jelly because they're so lovely. So, um, and it's the colours of them in the finish. So look, we've got, we've got colours that match everything. Look at these colours, people. Look at these colours. They, they were just made Perfect. for this. So we are going to take one of these. We are going to put that one there. Let's move it over a bit. You don't want to see me in the box. You want to see the card. Um, so we'll put, we'll, we'll change the colours a bit. So we'll do a little bit oh. of swapping of colours like this. I'm not going to put any other sentiments on or anything like that because I think that then detracts very cute. from the little, um, the little bear. So let's grab one of these. So we're swapping the stones over now, as you can see. So we're going to go with, this time we're going with grey, peach and grey. And then at the other side, we did peach, grey and peach. So we just pop those on there. That is now done. And if I hold that up for you, then you can see that we have, it's quite, um, it's very lovely. It's quite Sweet, really. Look at the little bear jumper. But again, you could decoupage more layers there. You could put something else. You could even put one of the little bears in the window yes. um, with the glitter because they're rather smaller ones on the yes, pages you showed, Natalie. So again, you can do that, but um, it, it doesn't have to be anything too, you know, it's crazy. Um, and there's room on there as well if you wanted to personalise it for like mum or sister or, you know, um, you could put like, you know, Jane or Amy or someone's name on there. So um, I hope you it gave you a bit it's of inspiration it's very very cute so. i think it's a really nice idea of how you can utilize all the different pages as well that yeah, you get definitely you get your definitely book. okay so it is time to announce our win it weekly <gasps> winners Whee! i am very excited do we need a countdown we can have a look. You ready five yeah. four three two one congratulations <gasps> to elaine turner linda hall Lynn Claire Sharp and Jan Castle. 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 Yeah. Nice. Congratulations. Well you done. are the winning weekly competitions. You will be receiving the fantastic die set that I am holding in my hand. If you could just email us privately on Facebook or send an email to um, service at Hunky Dory Crafts, we will get this out to you. Very, very exciting. Congratulations oh, to everyone that won. Um, but next week, Next week, you could be in with a chance of winning by just entering um, the crazy question that I'm sure we will have next week <laughs> because they are getting more and more insane every week thanks to Emily's crazy brain. Um, so next, the only thing we have left to do, she <gasps> is everyone's favourite thing. It's time to spin the wheel. you heard that, that was me just breaking everything. <laughs> oh my. I just honestly. made the biggest noise you've ever seen. It was ever like seen. a dinner gong, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? Like, <laughs> dang. 
The wheel is ready. So, for those who maybe haven't watched us recently or haven't, who don't know the spin the wheel competition, we have this fantastic wheel, which is adorned with some fantastic prizes. Um, and I'm gonna spin this wheel and give you a minute, Emily. Yeah. A minute to comment absolutely anything you can possibly think of. Um, and then Emily is gonna use her little magic scroller and pick a winner for our fantastic collection. Let's just move this in so you can properly see everything that's on there um, because it is great. And I really, really, really want it to be the prize rollover. Yeah, because there's a lot in there. Really have we gone to two to boxes now? For Yeah, yeah. We're, we're I think got it's two boxes, spread over two we? now, isn't it? Amazing. Okay, so is everyone ready? Yes. Let's spin the wheel. Oh. <laughs> Is it? Oh, oh, that's such a good prize. That's a lot. That is such a good prize. It was very close to the £50 voucher. However, um, the lucky winner of our Spin the Wheel competition is going to be taking home the entire Christmas blockbuster of 2020, which includes four of the most fantastic paper craft kits. Yeah. Um, what else is included in that? Um, a little book? I think there's a little book in there, yes. I think there is. Um, yes. But it's just absolutely fantastic. So if you already have it, if you've had it and you've used all of it up already, so you need to make more Christmas cards, comment whatever you can in the next 30 minutes. Um, and Emily's going to pick a winner and we are going to send out that Christmas blockbuster to you. The only thing we have left to tell you is um, our coming up TV schedule. So tomorrow morning at 9.45 a.m., Sheila will be at Create and Craft. I will. With a fantastic new Forever Florals collection. It is our Forever Florals Sunflowers. It is probably, I couldn't say my favourite, but I think it's my second favourite. Yes. My second favourite Forever Florals collection. It's very, very beautiful. Um, if you are a lover of our collections, that Forever Floral range, definitely do not miss it out. She'll be there at 9.45 in the morning and then um, 6.45 p.m. Yeah. So you've got two chances to catch that show. We're going to be adding a product to our rollover box. It's just here. It is our two cute, and it is because it's so <laughs> tiny, Woo! our two cute topper deck pack, which is just adorable. So that's going to go in for next time, and hopefully next week someone will win the rollover box. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll keep um, trying. Emily, do you have a winner? I'll just spin my wheel now. Spin it. Don't make as much noise as I did getting this one out, though. <laughs> clumsy. Like I said on Monday, I am, oh no, it was Tuesday. I am the clumsiest person I know. And it's so true. I wouldn't mind, but it was literally on the floor. I don't even know how I hit that. I know, but it's, you know, it's, it's hit and miss, as they say. Very, <laughs> very <hit>. much so. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a winner, Emily? We do. I'm unsure of how to pronounce her last name, but I can have a go. It's Linda Runch, uh, Runchiman or Runciman. <gasps> okay. R U N C I M A N. Okay, so Linda, Linda you are the winner of our fantastic Christmas Blockbuster 2020. So if you can send us um, a little message, maybe one of the team will message you um, to let you know that you have one spin the wheel this week. Um, and then we can get that out to you and you can get crafting with your Christmas blockbuster. So I'm sure you're gonna have the most fantastic time because it yeah, is a fantastic, fabulous. fantastic Chris Christmas collection. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. Um, we hope you um, loved our little books, um, the demos that Sheila did, um, and the offers we've got running. Are they running for the month, Emily? It's the weekend. The weekend. Yeah. So it's this weekend, um, the little books, any two for £9. And again, we've got the fantastic matching Miri Max, two for £15 if you want them. Go and get them. Um, but that's it from us. I've had a fantastic Friday. Have you had a good Friday? Yes, it's been good so far. Yeah, there's, we've got lots of work to do in the we office, haven't we? And I think you and me are back on here on Monday, aren't we? We are. Yes, I we think are. It's me and Sheila again on it Monday is. with, the craft, with the craft show. Yes. The so. best way to start the week. So join us on Monday for the craft show for some more fantastic demos. Um, but until then, we shall say have a fantastic weekend and we will see you on Monday. Mm -hmm.